Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Mack. I'm one of the residents here at the University of Calgary, here to explain to you Cataract D, white cataracts, capsular rexis, and the milky white cataract and high capsular tension. This is a very, very challenging level, so uh, it took me multiple attempts to actually get this particular video the way I wanted it to. Start off in the regular fashion with an air bubble, uh, stain the anterior capsule with the tripan blue, and then use the viscoelastic in order to um, fill the AC. Now, in this particular level, when you pierce the center, white milky fluid will come out. And I want you to stop. Get the IA, set it to a relatively low aspiration um, level, and then you make sure that the tip is pointing forward, or sorry, pointing at the top. And you want to try to aspirate very gently the fluid um, that is coming out of the lens. So here I'm just aspirating very, very gently. My aspiration or slash vacuum levels are around maybe 200. Then I fill the AC again with viscoelastic. And I fill it into um, almost half the vis viscoelastic cannula. Now notice that the rexus is quite, um, or sorry, the raised flap is quite small. That's a good thing. You want to start off relatively small because if you over aspirate, you're going to create a very large tear on almost an Argentinian flag, uh, flag sign. So you want to be very gentle because the capsule is very brittle. Um, I find it's very difficult to pull and, and create the shape that I want to. So you have to be um, as gentle and cognizant of where you're going. If the rexus doesn't look very regular to you, then stop and then try to readjust to make sure that you get the circular shape that you want. So here it looks okay, but you know it could have been a little bit better near the bottom. Let's take a look at that one more time. So we'll start off with an air bubble. Fill the uh, AC with the tripan blue to stain the anterior capsule. Use the BSS cannula and wash out the tripan blue and then fill the eye with viscoelastic. Here we go again. So small little poke. Do not propagate the rexus in the usual fashion. Just a small little poke in the center. Set your IA um, to continuous irrigation and a very low aspiration level or vacuum level and then just point the IA tip towards that area so you notice that the capsule is wrinkling a little bit and then most of the white has been aspirated as well. Then you can start your rexus. So you fill the AC with a lot of viscoelastic, so a very generous amount. And then you want to be able to use your forceps and then continue to propagate the capsule rexus flap. So here I'm being very gentle because I know that I want to try to get the best shape possible but the capsule is very brittle so it doesn't really want to do what you think it normally does and you have a lot less control in terms of the shape and uh, the regularity of the rexus. So be very slow, methodical, and then try to create the best rexus possible in this particular situation, which is not ideal. And here I'm just extending the rexus a little bit just to get a better sort of circular shape. And then there we go. So we scored 98 in both attempts. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.